What is the dag on deal, Kim folk? It's your girl Queen D. Back at it again with another cooking video, y'all. I'm trying, I'm trying, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my stuffed bell pepper. So I'm gonna just show you everything that I need. It's not gonna be too lengthy of a video because y'all know how I am. I like to do it uh, quick and easy. So I have my bell peppers here. I have about six um, bell peppers. I'll show you the size here in a little bit. I have a big bowl. I'm going to need that bowl here in a little bit. I need it. Um, tomato ketchup. So I have that. Crushed red pepper. I have parsley flakes. Some whole oregano. I have some Worcestershire sauce. Garlic powder, not salt. Celery salt. Or if you don't like celery salt, you can always substitute for seasoned salt or adobo, you know, whatever you whatever your salt preference is, you can use in replace of the celery salt. I have uh, minced garlic, a, a small can of tomato paste. This is a six ounce can. I'm not even going to use all of this. I have two cans of sliced stewed tomatoes. I have jasmine rice here. I'm pretty sure you can probably use whatever rice you want to, but I've always used jasmine rice because it's a little bit, the grains are a little bit longer than regular uh, white rice. So, yeah, I like that better. It cooks better. It tastes better. You know, just don't ask questions. Just do it. <laughs> also have some light brown sugar. I'm not really sure how it would be with dark brown sugar because you know that it's a little bit more sweet. I would just assume maybe you just have to use a little bit less, but I don't know. I've always done light brown sugar. It works for me. Now, I usually do Parmesan cheese, but shredded Parmesan cheese, but I couldn't find any in the store, and I don't have any on hand. So today, I'm just going to use my uh, fancy shredded cheddar jack cheese. This is like the Mexican blend cheese. It has the mild cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese, and then I'm going to use just plain shredded cheddar cheese as well. I have a pan here, that's where my bell peppers are going. And I have another small bowl and a spoon, so I'm gonna need that. Now over here, I already have uh, my water boiling in that pot. That's where my rice is gonna cook. So that's always the first thing I do is that. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven as well to 350. And these are gonna have to cook in the oven for about 40, 45 minutes. So the first thing I'm gonna do let me set this stuff to the side. First thing I'm going to do is, in my small bowl here, I'm going to add my two cans of sliced stewed tomatoes. I'm also going to add some of that brown sugar and um, my tomato paste, some oregano as well, and my red pepper flakes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get this assembled. I'm going to show you guys how I'm assembling it as I'm going. So be right back. Okay, y'all. So I added both of my cans of uh, sliced stewed tomatoes. I have about this much, this much tomato paste. I don't know. I guess that's about a teaspoon and a half of tomato paste. Like I said, I'm not going to use the whole thing. I still have quite a bit left. And that right there is just going to add for flavor and texture as well because I want my sauce to be a little bit on the thicker side not thick but thicker than this consistency right here like that's water so I want a little bit thicker of my brown sugar I'm adding two tablespoons and I'm gonna taste it I may have to add um, a little bit more as far as the brown sugar goes you just go to your taste and this right here it just cuts down the acidity because, you know, tomatoes and stuff can be real, you know, twangy. So that right there is going to help just balance that out. So I'm going to mix this up. Be right back. One tablespoon of oregano. One tablespoon of crushed red pepper. I'm going to mix that up. Okay, I'm about to taste my mixture. But in the meantime, my water is boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and add one and a half cups of that jasmine rice to my boiling water. Okay, so I mixed up my mixture. I tasted it, and to me, I need about one more tablespoon of brown sugar. But like I said, it's up to you. You don't have to do that. So I'm going to mix this up, and I'll be back. Okay, one of my onions I'm going to leave chopped like this. And the other one I'm going to dice up. But as far as, I'm, I'm going to chop up both of them, but this one I'm going to leave 
and these are big pieces and the other one like I said I'm gonna dice up all right so my rice is done over there in that pan I have my ground meat going and to that I'm going to get ready to add um, my minced garlic I'm gonna do one teaspoon of my minced garlic I'm gonna do um, the small onions that I have chopped up they're here so I'm gonna go ahead and add those now so add those I'm gonna add like I said a teaspoon of minced garlic I'm gonna do a tablespoon of my celery salt a teaspoon of my garlic powder and um, some black pepper just a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up and show you what it's looking like so this is my meat mixture so far and you just want to make sure you're chopping that ground beef up you don't want no chunky meat in your bell pepper chai make sure that's chopped up real good the last thing I added to my meat mixture meat mixture <laughs> was some sausage I would usually gravitate more towards Italian sausage but I didn't have any I ran out and when I went to the store they didn't have any either so I'm just using regular um, pork sausage links I just broke them up and I'm gonna brown them in here with my ground meat too I just like that I don't know about you guys but when I eat my stuffed bell pepper I like to taste a little sausage in there too so yeah that's the purpose for that as far as my bell peppers are concerned, all I literally did was just lay them down sideways. I cut off the top and then I'm going to take out the guts and scrape them out. And then they're going to look like this. And then on the bottom, I'm going to poke a hole in each one of the, I don't know what to call these. <laughs> I'm going to poke a hole in, in, on, on the bottom of the bell pepper. And that's just going to help the flavor that's in the bottom of the pan seep through the bell pepper too. So, Okay. So now I have deveined all of my bell peppers and um, what I'm going to do is my sauce mixture. I'm going to take some of that, lay it in the bottom of my pan. I'm going to spread it out evenly and then I'm going to put a couple of these onions in there and I'm going to just do like two layers of that and then use up my onions, mix it all around in there and let y'all see what that looks like. Alright you guys, so in this pan, I, like I said, I put a layer of the sauce and the sliced onions that I have here. I did that um, just once. I thought I was going to do it twice, but I'm just going to do it once. The liquid that you're seeing, you can either use um, like a half a cup of water or like a half a cup of beef broth. I didn't have any beef broth, so I just used water. It's going to taste just the same because it's seasoned and everything really good. So then, I'm going to go ahead and put my bell peppers in here. Just like that. It smells so good. I wish I could smell this. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and start filling these up. I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. So, let me free up my hand, y'all. I'm going to start on one and I'm going to show y'all what I got going. Okay. So, in my bowl, I have my ground meat with my minced um, onion that I did earlier. I have two tablespoons of ketchup and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add my white rice and most of the sauce mixture that I made earlier. Chicken Express. Okay, into my meat mixture. I've already mixed it up with most of my sauce. I still have a little bit there. And I put some cheese on here. I used most of the pack. And I'm going to start packing my bell peppers. Whoop, there it is, y'all. Okay, so all the bell peppers are full. I've packed them in. I still even have a little bit more stuff in left. I wish I would have got like one more bell pepper. I could have squeezed it right there, but... It is what it is. I put the rest of my sauce mixture on there once I got them filled. And then I topped them with the rest of that Mexican blend cheese and some of that shredded uh, cheddar cheese too. I still have some of that left. I didn't use all of that. But like I said, I preheated my oven to 350. I'm going to pop these in the oven. And like I said, it's going to take about 40 or 45 minutes. And I will let y'all see what they're looking like when they are done. Alright y'all, so I have taken them out of the oven. This is what they are looking like. Yes, honey. Those are looking mighty, mighty fine. If I must say so myself. And all I'm going to do now is just put a little parsley on top and that's it. And that's really just mainly for color. Just make them look pretty. And that's it, y'all. Pretty simple, huh? So y'all y'all just comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this recipe. Um, just let me know if you try it out. If you do, let me know how you liked it. And 
that's gonna be it y'all so until next time y'all perseverance starts with the end there is nobody absolutely nobody that can push you like you do so y'all be blessed peace Pop the bottles cause we got another hit, hit, hit Wanna go platinum, I'm who you should get, 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 get Ludacris on the track, get back, trick switch on the lack, I'm flexing steel